welcome back to the Roger Rodriguez channel. And guys, I am so happy because right now, this is the first ever video I'm recording with my new camera. And I mean, I hope the quality stays, uh, you know, just as I expect it when I upload it to YouTube. But overall, it looks fantastic. And we are reviewing the Star Wars Black Series, Balin Skull. From the Ahsoka line. Look at the front of the box. You get the figure that is included along with the accessory. Down here you can see the name of the line the character is from and his name down here. And on the side of the box you have this amazing artwork of Balin. And like I mentioned before, by adding more figures from the same line, you can, you can create a mural. So here's Balin, uh, Shin, and Merak side by side. And on the back of the box, you do get a, a bigger portrait of the character, a description, the number of your falls into the line, and a bunch of little warnings. Here's the side of the box, bottom, and the top right here. But I'll go ahead and open them up and see what's inside. Here he is, I'm going to have plastic. And here he is on the box. And, let's see. And looking up close, he looks incredible. Like, overall, I am impressed with the uh, photo real tech that they have. And then, of course, his outfit. It's definitely something that we haven't seen a lot uh, in the Black Series. But, like I usually do, I'll go ahead and start from top to bottom. And real quick before uh, I do my review, uh, like you guys saw at the beginning of this video, I kind of want to dedicate this video to Ray Stevenson and his passing. We lost him way too soon, but I think it's so special that uh, we get to, you know, remember him by his, you know, work on the Ahsoka show. And then, of course, now that we have his figure, it's really neat to have him in the collection. But overall... Looking at the photo tech that they used in the face, it looks incredible. Like, it captures his likeness and everything. But I just want to point this out. Look at that. It is so detailed. Like, you can see the printing in the eyes, the eyebrows. He has that Kratos God of War beard. <laughs> and then his hairstyle, it looks really neat. Just overall, a really nice looking head sculpt. But... He does have a joint here at the neck as well as the top of the head, so you get tons of movement here side to side, back, and forward. Look at the torso. He has this unique, like, I don't know. It's almost like a chest plate or like a vest in a way. It's definitely, uh, you know, sort of like similar to like something you'd see like in the medieval times or something like that, but it just looks really cool has this black sort of like leather color going throughout it and then there's like these splotches of uh, blue I like how it has like this seam here in the back it definitely looks like something you know like I said in the medieval times it just looks really neat and he does have a ball joint here at the waist so your side side back and forward look at the arms the arm does stick out right there and it does go all the way around right here, which I like. And he does have a butterfly joint, so that helps out, like, a lot. His elbow does go up right there. He has a swivel here at the elbow. And he does have articulation here at the wrist and at the hand. The other side as well. Arm sticks out right there. Goes all the way around with ease. And another thing I wanted to point out was the shoulder pads. They have the same exact sort of like texture. Looks really cool. Um, elbow does go up right there. Has a swivel here at the elbow. And he does have articulation right here at the wrist and at the hand. Looking at the waist, he has this belt. And it has a lot of really cool like uh, detail going throughout it. Has this like um, gold or like silver sort of like belt buckle. He has the clip for the lightsaber. And then, of course, he does have this lower half of his outfit. 
and it's made of a looser plastic, so that's nice to know. Look at the legs. He does go all the way <laughs> into a split position right there. Uh, the legs do go out into a sitting position, and they go back right there. And he does have a swivel on both of his thighs right here. And looking at the knees, the knees go back into a kneeling position, as you can see. I also like how there's like... Um, pinless joints on both the legs and the arms, so that is just really nice. Doesn't really like show up a little too obvious, things like that. But lastly, we are looking at the boots, and he has like these almost like shin guards or chaps, I think they're called, but they look really cool. The feet do point down right there, they point up, and he does have rock wrinkles, so you get some cool action poses with him. And lastly, We'll take a look at the lightsaber. Look at the lightsaber. It looks amazing. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is like that orange, sort of like reddish blade that uh, we've seen in the show. Because it is a little bit different as far as what I'm seeing here on the camera. Which is really cool that they added that in. But the hilt, the hilt is really cool. Has like some black for the most part. But has like some silver right here near the uh, the emitter and the pummel right here. Looks really epic. To put on the lightsaber, all you want to do is sort of like push in the grip right here of the hilt. Push it all the way down so that you can fit the other hand. This is pretty cool because you could do like a lot of like bigger swing sort of like poses like he does in the show. Once you got that in there. He looks really cool. And if you're not going to use the lightsaber, you can easily put it right here on the clip on the belt. It's very snug and won't come off. So that was an overview of the figure. Guys, I'm going to say it again. This is another 10 out of 10 figure for me. Like, I thought this guy was going to be really stiff. Like, I wasn't able to move certain joints or things like that. This is actually the best sort of like uh, what do they call it? The Boken Jedi sort of like figure we've got in. Um, I love the articulation for the most part. Um, I like how you're able to move him. He's so smooth and you're able to, you know, put him in different positions, things like that. I love also that you're able to not get in the way of uh, too much going on as far as like the lower part of the legs. That was one part that um, I wasn't expecting to have a lot of movement. But thankfully, it, you know, turned out great. I also want to give props to the people that did that photo real tech. It looks incredible on this guy. And also the accessory. Really cool lightsaber we've got right here. So yeah, uh, if you don't have him in your collection, I would recommend getting him. Just because he's probably going to sell out. And this was actually the last Balin that I saw, thankfully. But I think this guy is going to be a bestseller for sure. And something to do at the end of these reviews is show you guys how to display figures, having the box in the back, and the figure in the front. But I'm really here, and say if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And if like the content you see here on the channel so far, be sure to subscribe. And be sure to follow me on my Instagram page. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. I'll catch you all on the next one.